All right, folks. Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Leader Grev, and I actually, to my own shame, I had a video recorded before, kind of, and I didn't like it. Um, the audio settings of my current mic are not conducive to proper recording. Come here, you schmuck. Um, there's a lot of background noise. The hum of my fan can be heard a lot. And that just doesn't happen with my uh, iPhone mics, which is good, which is very, very good. So, for the most part, I have kind of restrained, from now on I'm kind of restraining my use of this new mic. I mean, it was a good experiment, but what I've learned from it is that without further setting control, I can't really work with a new mic. Um, the iPhone mic, the good thing about it is that its quality is not fantastic enough to pick up certain things, so that if, you know, like a stronger mic would work better with a quieter computer, but because my computer is so loud, like the fan gets really, really intense when I'm trying to play, that causes problems, that is what makes it hard to record. So for now, I think if, if it dampens the noise, I will be using my iPhone headphones. And that's perfectly fine. I mean, my my new mic didn't cost me anything. It was a GameStop gift card. Anyways, on to the next point. Let me explain what I've been doing. Um, I've gotten a lot, a lot of stuff over here. As you can tell, a whole bunch of wool. I actually fixed up my house. I now have a fully wool floor, as I wanted to do in the beginning of this season. I got myself a whole bunch of dark wooden planks, because I'm trying... What I want to do is I want to set up a universal... Um, What's its face? Tree farm. And I that would involve some trouble with getting... Oh, look, they're all here. Now, one of the problems I have with the spawner is that the mobs are not doing a fantastic job of not dying. Meaning that when they fall down, some of them die. For no discernible reason. And that's actually very, very annoying. Because I, I, I really want these spiders to live just a tiny bit. And what I'll probably end up doing is I'll probably end up turning this, these two blocks, into a chest. Oh. Also, this, this has been really useful in terms of getting experience and items. And actually, I've been subsisting for all the time that I've been working in this cave. I've been subsisting on spider eyes. So, convenient in terms of getting food. Now, let's go up and make a chest. And what we're going to do is we have a whole bunch of excess cobble, and we've got a whole bunch of wood. We're going to make ourselves a bunch of wooden, not wooden, um, cobblestone swords. Because, uh, I honestly, actually I think 22 swords will be enough. Let me see. Three by, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty-seven. I could technically go for a couple more pieces of wood. Oh well, that's gonna be that's gonna be more than enough. What I need is all right. That's already met. My de the demands are met. Excellent. Now, what we're gonna do? Do we have we have plenty of cobble on us? Um. Ta da ta da ta da ta da ta da. Oh man, this is gonna be. Alright, um, we kind of need to, let's drop off some of this stuff, we don't need this wool, we do, we do need this cobble, we don't need this rotten flesh, actually we don't need this dirt, there's more of what we don't need. Alright, now let's go down and make ourselves, or we can't really go down and make ourselves a chest, our, yeah, that's the problem with how small this space is actually, it's, it's too small. It's... It's hard to walk around without stepping on a pressure plate, and I did not think this through. Um, what do I get rid of? You, I don't need you. And what we're going to do is we're going to be all smooth-like, and we're going to replace one at a time, of course. No other way to do this. And let's put all of these stone swords in there. And the idea behind this is that I don't want to use a, a good iron sword 
on killing spiders. Like, I really don't. It's a waste. So instead, we'll just leave all that there. Um, instead, I'll use a stone sword. And since cobblestone is the most naturally abundant element in the entire game, and I can use it as much as I want without having worry of ever running out of it, why not? Why not just get rid of it? Uh, so that's exactly what we're going to do, essentially. Okay. And we're going to head back down. We're going to put the rest of these silly little sabers in. And then we're going to be ready, and I'll show you guys how this works for the most part. Uh, kind of going to show you. I'm going to explain, not show. Tell, not show. Who needs to be shown things? Showing is for kindergarteners. We just tell here. Ah, getting stuck under cobble is annoying. Also, another note, as I mentioned the mics before, if you notice, if you notice the mic right now uh, is picking up my fan, tell me. Because if... I will, I will have released one video before I release this one. And it starts off alright, I believe it's, it's, it's a goods video. And it'll start off okay, and it won't end up very okay, because the audio quality will slowly deteriorate. So, let me know if the audio quality in terms of commentary is better in this video, or in the most recent goods 404 video. Look at that, that's beautiful. I love doing that. It's so fun. Alright, and this is our beautiful new setup for our spawner. I think it came out pretty nicely, to be entirely honest. I really, really like it. Um, and we can go, let's go this way. I've been going this way a lot recently, so why not? Now maybe, I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys take a peek into what's going on inside the actual spawner. Maybe you guys can tell me what, if anything, I'm doing wrong. Because I'm going to assume I'm doing something wrong, because it's not working perfectly. I mean, that's a lot to ask, but I kind of want it to work decently. And it's not doing it. It's not even, not even decently. Or, I mean, it is, that's unfair. But it's not working to full capacity, is what, how we'll phrase this. Um, no, let's go... Not the right door. Here we are. Here we are. La 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 la. You know what? This might be part of the problem. Uh, I put this up here before because I didn't want the spiders jumping around. But I feel like that's it's a lost cause. Anywho, so spiders go and they. Alright, and then they hang out, and I'm not sure, but something is going wrong with that. Because it's not fully working. I mean, some of the spiders fall down, and then they die. And this is, this is the fall distance that they should be falling to not die. Maybe I should... You know what I'll try? I'm going to try... But bringing down the signs won't really help. I don't think it will. Because, hmm, no, they'll only drown. That's what's going to happen. They're going to drown. Hmm, decisions, decisions. Let's just leave it as it is. Let's do this, just so it covers the whole thing. There we go. And now let me go show you. Now they fall down that hole, and it's, in theory, it's a drop of 18 blocks. However, in reality, it doesn't work out that perfectly. What happens is, um, some of the spiders jump before they fall into the hole. Things happen along the way that cause the spiders to either fall less, so you have to use a sword, or a bit more, so they just die. See, there's, there's spider web over there, but I didn't kill anyone upstairs. So that has to be from a spider that fell down and died. And that happens a lot. It's kind of ridiculous. So, 
that's that's what's throwing me off. There should be a a direct quantity of blocks that the spiders have to fall down to die. And that hasn't really been working. But you know what? It's okay. I'm getting I've gotten quite a bit out of this since the last video. Um I think I've raised I've gone up 11 levels off of this one spawner. I haven't really ventured too far outside. So I think this is a pretty good spawner, the way it has worked out. So that's very good in my opinion. Uh, let's just clean this up. Or clean it up as in like cobble it up. Uh, what I'm actually looking forward to from this is the amount of wool I can make out of this. And wool gives me a lot of creative liberty. So I don't know. We'll see what I can do with that. Anyways, let's go back and see what's going on on the upstairs. Maybe something interesting? I don't know. I haven't been up there actually in quite a while. Uh, I don't think there's anything particularly interesting going on. But... Oh, there is one thing that I did upstairs, so to speak. And that is... I got to work on chopping down a whole bunch of trees. As I said, tree farm, gotta be working on that. And what I want to do is a universal tree farm, so sort of a tree farm that fits all different shapes and sizes. And from there, the farm part of it is mostly I harvest it, there's manual harvesting, I can't really harvest it automatically anyway. And the problem with like this cave, which was usually my tree farm, is that it doesn't support trees of this size. It doesn't, it doesn't work. So I have to kind of work outside the box. So what I want to do is I want to go into this cave of mine, or rather run into this cave of mine, and find a suitable area for a tree farm. Oh, look, look, isn't it beautiful? All green. That's beautiful, I love it. It's not that special, I know, but it is. I think it looks really nice. It's a nice touch. I like having some kind of uniformity to my house. Anyways, oh, also, let's take a look at how our shroom farm is doing. I haven't seen this thing in a while. I don't really need shrooms that much, but it is nice to see how they're going. Ooh! What? Oh, is there an enderman in there? I'm also a bit not happy about how slowly those shrooms are growing. Okay, so I'm getting the impression that Endermen chill around here. And I, I would assume they don't like the water very much. You know what? Let's, let's try out this farm. First off, let's fix this, because this shouldn't be happening. Um, and this should also not be happening. Um, oh no, that's not what I meant to do. Whatever, no worries. Dirt! Away! Ha! Ha! Oh! Let's pop on these lights. Why is this part of a separate group? Ah! I've lost you, Dirt. Where'd you go? Huh. I guess I must have fallen down. Anywho, let's flick on these lights. And see if this works. Alright. Hmm. Let's take a look on... Oh, no, not what I meant to do. Not what I meant to do. Let's flick this off. I think it's done its duty. Hmm. Now let's go downstairs and check out what we've got. What have we gathered today? Plenty of mushrooms. Heading our way. Awesome. Not that many yet, but... Hmm. Let's see. Are there still mushrooms on the way? That's interesting because I... I felt as though there were more mushrooms. 
Maybe not all of them fell down. Hmm. That's another thing I need to keep in mind. Let's go take a look at how this whole thing is working. Uh, let's head back down, see what's going on on the field, so to speak. Because these blocks didn't go anywhere. And that doesn't make any sense. Also, this needs to go away. Hmm. That was it. I kind of I thought there were more mushrooms for some reason. Hmm. Definitely surprised. I'm not sure if I'm being deceived by the game, but I felt as though there were more mushrooms. Regardless, we'll let this keep going. Continue growing, my lovelies. I will see you again later. And I think the same can be said of my... Nope, nothing else. Huh. That's surprising. Also, we're gonna need to find a place for a farm. I think if I were to TNT out this center area... What is this? Oh. What is this? I think it leads to the same area. Yep. If I were to TNT out this center fat column, I think I could build a pretty solid, respectable tree farm here. Smooth everything out of it. I'd get a, I'd get a ton of coal out of this. I think that's my next plan. Next plan of action. Anyways, you heard it here first. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you later.